In this video, we're going to discuss how to set up a two inlet torch for glass blowing. Setting up your first torch can be a little frightening and lighting the flame can be awfully exciting. Today, we'll go through how easy it is to set up and light up. You're going to need five pieces of equipment shown here, a propane regulator, an oxygen regulator, set of flashback arresters, a torch, and a set of T-grade hosing. You'll find links to everything below in the description. You'll also need two adjustable wrenches and a spray bottle with soapy water for a safety test. Today, we're using the two inlet Bethlehem Alpha Torch. It's a surface mix and extremely durable, reliable, and well-priced introduction torch. You can see the oxygen and the propane knobs along with the two inlets. It has a nice adjustable base where you can adjust the pitch and angle of it. It's a full versatility torch. Here we have a propane regulator with a CGA 510 male fitting along with the low pressure gauge and the high pressure gauge. And then the knob in the middle is the pressure adjuster valve. Sometimes it's shaped like a T instead of a knob. And then over here we have the male fitting for B fittings for the T-grade hosing to attach to. Oxygen regular is basically the exact same thing except it has a CGA 540 female fitting. Also has the same high pressure and low pressure gauges along with a knob to adjust pressure. And the same with the B fitting to attach the T-grade hosing. And we have the flashback arresters for safety, the green for oxygen, and the red for propane. And the T-grade hosing, it has same red and green sides to it. There are B fittings on both ends to connect to the flashback arresters and the regulators. Starting with our torch, you'll see it has, again, the green and the red. We're going to hook the corresponding T-grade hose up to each of those. Starting with the oxygen, we will just hand tighten it on and a little bit we'll use the adjustable wrench to firmly tighten it down. Once we have the oxygen nice and hand tightened, we'll go ahead and attach the propane. The thing about the propane is you'll see on the actual nut itself a little notch at each corner. And so what that means is that it's threaded the opposite way. So instead of righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, it's actually opposite. So you'll have to tighten it by going to the left. Now that we have both of them hand tightened, we'll go ahead and get our adjustable wrench to firmly tighten them down to the torch. Next, we're gonna take the other end of the T-grade hosing and do the same thing, hand tighten them down to the flashback arresters. Again, making sure to correspond the colors. Make sure not to switch them because you don't wanna cross thread anything by putting a propane into an oxygen fitting. Um, keep in mind again that the propane has those notches on it and you'll be needing to tighten it to the left. Now, this is where we will need a second adjustable wrench. So we're going to use one adjustable wrench to hold the T-grade hosing and then another adjustable wrench to hold the flashback arrestor. And by pushing them the opposite direction, you are going to make sure you get a nice and secure, safe fit on there. We'll go ahead and check these later on with that soapy spray bottle water. Now we're going to attach the regulator to the flashback. We'll go ahead and just hand tighten it. And then again, use the two adjustable wrenches, one holding the flashback arrestor and the other holding the regulator to make sure it's a nice, firm, secure fit.
All right, now we're going to connect the regulator to the tank. We'll start with the propane, just hand tightening it. Make sure to give the regulator a little bit of support when you're wrenching it in initially, just so you don't have any cross threading. And once you hand tighten it as far as you can, you'll want to get the wrench. You can use just one this time to get a nice full tightened seal on there. Uh, sometimes it requires a little bit of extra elbow grease to make sure it's secure. And then we'll move on to the oxygen regulator and get that nice and tightened up. Now that the regulators are all connected, we're going to make sure to decrease the pressure adjustment before turning the tank on. Once it's decreased, we can turn the tank on. We'll see the high pressure gauge get pressure. And then we're going to slowly adjust the pressure adjustment to get the desired pressure on the low pressure gauge. We'll do the same thing with the oxygen. We'll make sure that the pressure adjuster is completely decreased and then turn the tank on. Once the tank is turned on, the high pressure gauge will start to show pressure. And at that point, we can start to use the pressure adjustment to get our desired pressure on the low pressure gauge. Again, same as with the propane. Now we're going to make sure that we take care of the scariest part, the safety. The best way to do this is to use a spray bottle with soapy water and test every one of your connections. If there are any leaks, that soapy water will start to bubble up and you'll see gases coming out after there's pressure from the turned on tanks. None of our connections had any bubbles coming up from that soapy water because we made sure to make nice tight connections and not have any cross threading through the whole process. So now that we can rest easy and know that we have an airtight system, we can go ahead and get that torch lit up. Make sure to secure your torch to the table. We used a C-clamp here, but most torch bases have a hole or two that you can screw it into the table. First, we're going to turn the propane on really softly and use a sparker to get a flame going. From there, we introduce a little bit more oxygen nice and slowly, and we can adjust the propane and the oxygen knobs to get our desired flame. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, drop a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe.